Hello, a friend asked me, what's the difference between CB radio and amateur radio? And I want to talk a moment about that because CB radio that really exploded a number of years ago was a very exciting time. There was a license in the beginning required for it. They work on set channels, but they're actually specific frequencies. It's in the domain of 11 meters. You can look it up online and learn more about it. And then the licensing process sort of drifted away and it really became so that you don't need a license and there's a good and bad to that. The good is if someone just wants to have a fun little radio to talk to his friends on his dirt bike or uh, truckers still will have them in their truck. Often they'll tell me they use that only to communicate when they're docking or an emergency uh, is the main way they'll do it or just recreation of just chatting in any form, uh, virtually saying almost anything. Uh, this is the domain. And on the other hand, amateur radio requires an FCC license. You have to take a test, you get a license, you get a call sign, you're required to identify yourself every so often so people know who you are. And it is more of a self-policed frequency because we have a, the Amateur Radio Society wants to have a positive relationship with the FCC so that we can still keep our bands and be able to use them because there's a lot of demand for frequencies. So this has what I call a barrier to entry, which I mentioned before. And the positive on that is when people have to identify themselves, they generally act better. But the positive of this is anything can go. You don't need a license. You can grab one, buy it, turn it on, talk to your friends and get going with it. And so these are two different options. Now, you're, sometimes people ask, can I get a ham radio that will work on the CB or vice versa? And the answer is not legally. And there's a good reason for it because this is licensed and this does not re really require a license. So you don't want these crossing over in different ways. It's just like the family radio systems. Uh, those are different than the ham radio systems. And then there's professional radio frequencies. We'll talk about it some other time. So the answer is free for all has the positive. You can buy one, you can talk on it. If you had a place with ATVs and you want antennas and you want to talk to each other quickly, this could be a lot of fun. Truckers still use it. A lot of truckers I found are either talking to people on their cell phone or they've taken their amateur radio license because since as a barrier to entry, you aren't gonna have just anything being said. I, my name's attached to it, so I'm gonna think about it. I'll filter myself. Ham radio or amateur radio requires a license. CB radio is different. Amateur radio lets me have more powers legally that I can work with. This can go up to about five watts and I can have much more power. I can also speak on many more frequencies and I can dial in in between frequencies, sidebands and others. CB radio is, is fixed on 11 meters and that's what I can work on. And it's really locked into individual channels. So if you turn it, you'll see there are different individual channels. That's channel nine and then I'll be on channel eight here and so forth. So that's a quick answer to the question. What's the difference between ham radio and amateur radio? And I'll put content below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the little bell so you'll get further updates. This is Martin Brossman, KI4CFS 73.